hello everyone uh, today i'm going to show you uh, move for, uh, one list box items to the another i mean to say that uh, the items of the list box move to another list box it's quite easy and uh, you can do this in uh, five to six minutes actually okay so first of all add two list box and the two button control on the windows form uh, the first list box having some items and uh, when we click on the first button that is add then uh, the first uh, list box item move to the uh, second list box items okay as an item pro as an item okay so if you want to bind the first list box when mm, your windows form load then you can take a list with the string of type and uh, you know that the list box have some items with the two uh, things or you can say the two property that is the selected item which is selected and uh, you will move uh, that item and the second one is the selected index you know very well the index number of the selected item now uh, if you want to bind the first list box uh, after the initializing of the components so you can uh, use the list of the string type and add some items by using add method in the list box okay and after that you can uh, bind the list first list box by using the data source property uh, with the l1 now the after that logic uh, if you want to click on the first button the second list box actually add item that is uh, selected in the first list box so uh, first of all get the uh, index number as well as the selected item of the list box first list box and that item is moved to the sec uh, second list box after that you can check the list box is empty first of all uh, you uh, check the item otherwise uh, if the if the first list box is empty then what uh, item to move to the second list box so it is a null so uh, the list box 2 dot items dot add okay and uh, dot selected item you move you can check that l1 dot is not equals to null if list is not null then l1 dot remove at okay selected index so you can easily uh, if the selected uh, index number is removed from the list box one if it is not null okay if it is null then what you can select okay so after that uh, removed item you can bind the data so uh, generate a method and method stub also you can say the body of the method and in which you can add the list box one dot data source is uh, null so first of all uh, the pass to the null object and after that you can pass the list list object so uh, list again use the data source is l1 so l1 is uh, recombined you can say that and uh, remove the item selected and move to the list box 2 in the list box 2 when we click on the remove button that is the button 2 and after button 2 the selected items uh, a selected item is removed from the list box 2 and move to the list box 1 so again the list box 1 is binding remember that okay so uh, both selected item as well as the index is selected and getting uh, the selected index as well as the item from the list box 2 so l1 dot add the selected item and um, list box 2 dot items dot add sorry removed at and what the selected item so list box 2 dot items dot index of is a method in which you can pass the list box 2 dot selected item okay so there is an easy method to bind this so thank you very much for watching this